Hey guys, it's me Rahul. Hope you guys are having a fantastic day. Today we are going to be looking at some apps that I think everyone who owns an Android phone should use at least once. These are the apps that I think has a great potential to be in your phone. I use all of these apps personally, that is why I'm recommending to you to use it as well. So without further ado, let's get right into it. What makes Android phone different from others is the fact that it allows users to customize the operating system the way they like. Users have total freedom to do whatever they want to the operating system, which is kind of cool and there are many apps out there which will help you to customize the experience the way you like. So we are starting things off with launches. I like Nova because it is a standard launcher in the sense that you can do pretty much everything with this launcher. You can change the look of the icons, the animations, you can add gesture controls, color scheme, everything. It is a perfect Android launcher. Also try out other ones, I will link some in the description down below, so check them out as well. Google Photos is a very underrated app and most of the time Photos is unnoticed. Most people think it is one of those Google app and they can't seem to understand the importance of it. Everyone who is using Google Photo knows that it is the best app out there, the best gallery app. So I will talk you through some awesome features. You can back up all your photos and videos and there is unlimited storage. But if you don't have a pixel device, then the photos and videos will not be in original quality, which means the videos will be uploaded and backed up in 1080p. Another cool feature that I like is I can literally search whatever I want. For example, if I want a photo that I took near the beach, I can simply search beach and images containing beach will pop up. ES File Explorer is one of those apps that you either love it or you haven't heard about it. This app is not just a file manager, it is basically a complete toolkit for your Android device. It can help you manage your files, it will help you to delete all of the junk files of your phone, it can send files over Wi-Fi, you can do more than what I just told. But since it's free, the app has some ads in them, which might be a little annoying, but other than that, I would 100% recommend everyone to download this app and use it for a day, keep it if you like it. If you don't use Solid File Explorer, it is another good alternative to ES File Explorer. I'm the kind of guy who wants everything to be synced across every single device I use. As you guys may know, I make a lot of less videos on this channel and I have been using Google Keep for almost 4 years to create those lists and write down notes and I haven't looked at any other alternative since then and it's been perfect for me. It can create simple lists or notes, you can also add drawings, pictures, voice links to your digital sticky notes, you can organize them by giving them labels or label them with different colors. It is an awesome app, there is also another app from Google called Google Tasks which is more focused on getting things done but both are kind of the same so check them out. I recently noticed one thing among Android users these days, widgets are not as popular as it used to be and many users don't even know that even exist on Android. In early days, widgets on Android were a little bit power hungry. What I mean by that is keeping widgets on your home screen wasn't the best idea if you have problems regarding screen on time. Widgets have improved a lot in the past years. There are tons of widgets on the Play Store. One of the popular ones are Super Widget and KGWT which is pretty much like Super Widget but it is better but you can only import presets in the pro version. So yeah, use KGWT, it has a lot of cool widgets and it is much more stable than Super Widget and both share kind of the same exact settings. So learning how to use KGWT won't be a problem if you have ever used Super Widget before. Next app is kind of illegal to use because it can be used to hack Android apps like faking license verifications and in-app purchases. But Lucky Pager is not just an app that you can use to hack apps. It has a lot of other cool features. Some of them are rotorly, I mean <laughs> most of them are, but these features include custom patches which will add a lot of cool features to your existing app. You can block ads, you can change the app components. There are a lot of other cool things as well. So if your device is rooted, check it out. Launchers are cool, but they can only customize the home screen, maybe the app drawer, nothing else. But the images like Substratum can change the look of your phone's UI completely. The theme engine is of course free, you can download it from the Play Store, but it requires root access and can, and can sometimes cause boot loops. So don't use this on your main device if you don't know what you're doing. That's about it. I read a few comments stating that they don't like my videos because the thing that I was showing requires root and this is what I have to say to those people or people who are afraid to, too afraid to root their devices. The thing is, 
You can do a lot of things without root with latest versions of Android, yet some very advanced features request root access, and trying to use those features can be a bit tricky and risky since most of the modes and things like that are not from the OEMs or Google. So what I'm trying to say is, if you have a secondary device, root that phone and, and understand the basics, then you can maybe root your main phone. Try to learn about custom ROMs and cool modes and how to use those because those things are very cool and easy to learn. It is not that hard to learn about the basics of routing and Android development. So if you have some time, go to XDA, read up some maybe routing instruction and try to route your phone. So that's been it. Hope you guys like this video. If you did give this video a big thumbs up and I will talk to you guys in my next video. Goodbye. It's where it's been 700 degrees in here since you came in. I could swear that this room has been running out of air and now it's starting to spin.